Ho, ho, ho. Merry Bridgemas. Order your knitted Merry Bridgemas sweater now at realcivilengineer.com for Xmas delivery. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to City Skylines 2. Now, I've started up a new map. You can see in the bottom it's called Go and Get Wet. Because uh, not, only, not only is it raining, but I've come up with an idea. Since there are no natural disasters yet, I figured I'd try and make my own. So I wanted to try and work out can I make a tsunami? So first off, let's let's buy some land plots. Because at the moment, I don't own the sea. And I need to own the sea if I want to make a tsunami. So if I come right to the edge of the map back here and I just purchase all of these. I wish I could. Can I purchase like more than... Oh, I can. Oh, devs, you legends. Legends. Okay, let's purchase all of those. Both. Actually, can I just purchase the lot? Oh, I don't have... A... You can't purchase all the plots. Well, that's fine. I only need like this strip. Yeah, we only care about this island. Island behind. Well, I say island. Land. Land behind. If you don't get hit by tsunami, that's all good. But this front one, this is what we're going to be testing. So, I mean, first off, probably worth actually building a city, right? Because there's no point making a tsunami if there's nothing to destroy. So let's go to like there-ish. We'll, <laughs> we'll then put in the largest grid the world has ever seen. Oh no, it says it's too... Slope is too steep. Oh yeah, there's like islands here. Let's just iron these out. Like when your mum used to do the ironing for your shirt before school. And yes, that is me admitting that I haven't used an iron since my mum used one for me. <laughs> I only wear t-shirts. T-shirts, you don't need an iron for a t-shirt. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's quite bumpy over here. We've really got to try and flatten this out a bit. We'll do like that sort of thing. Tell you what, devs, if you wanted to make the brush size a bit bigger, I don't think anyone would complain. Can't see my forehead. Although it works very quick. Like, oh my, oh, fair play. Like, look at this. All right, okay, that's, that's probably, that's probably good enough. So now can I build a big old grid? Boosh. Yes, we can. Another one there. Boosh. Next up, electricity. We'll just take that from the outer. Wait, is there? Are they? Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Pylons, they take their electricity like underground. Oh, that's really cool. That's how you cross rivers. And... Oh, I like that. Fair play. But yeah, we'll shove a transformer station down there. Connect it up to the pylon. And then we've got we've got electricity. Yeah, this is all electrified up. Lovely. We then do need water though. So I guess we'll just shove a few pumping stations like down this way. I've connected those up with a dirt road. Look what it's done to this. Oh god, why are there? Why would there be so much cross? Like just cross once and then cross down here. You don't need parallel zebra crossings. Anyway, rather than a sewage outlet, I'm going to use one of these, a wastewater treatment plant. So we'll shove two of those in and hopefully, oh, especially if I, if I upgrade these as well. Yeah, shove those around the back. Yeah, they are upgraded. Okay, so we should all be good for power and stuff. I just need to, I need to make sure we've actually got people moving in. So I've got a do some coloring in. I want to start off with a strip of high density, I reckon. Then we'll just slowly like work our way back in the different densities. Now there isn't an infinite demand mod, which is quite annoying. I mean, the game's not even out when I'm playing this, but uh, I'm hoping I can just sort of do enough variety of all the different stuff. That hopefully it'll all be good. I'll shove like hospitals and stuff like that and shove a few of these signature buildings down as well. All right, so I've now placed one of every single signature building down. Our little city looks like this. I think we just need to fast forward and sort of let people move in. Yeah, this is this is going to be good. It's going to be it's going to be fun to destroy. I mean, I could also I could pay people money to move here. So tax rate, you get 10% of what you earn. Come move here. Everyone move in. Surprisingly, it seems to be the the commercial that was most of like where's everyone living? How is there so much commercial demand when no one's actually moving in? I don't know. Also, how tall are these cranes? They're huge. I've also just plonked an airport down. Maybe that will bring some more people in as well. well. Oh my god, look at all those oil canisters or whatever they are. There's so many. Oh my goodness. Right. Well, anyway, this is this is actually getting there, which means I can probably let's hit save on this. Call this gone get wet one. And basically, whilst this grows, I need to try and work out how to actually make a tsunami. Now, I imagine we're gonna have to use the landscaping tools. And we have a few different things at our disposal. So let's just start with a simple shift terrain tool. We'll up the brush strength. We'll up the brush size. And oh my, oh my goodness, there's a tornado. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't build on that island. But yeah, if I if I hit pause, what I want to know is if I were to like dig a trench. There we go. Just got a bog standard trench there. If I now press play, does the sea fall into it? Ah, no, no, it doesn't. Uh, that's not ideal. And maybe maybe this time I don't hit pause. What if we just keep this playing? So I'm thinking, if I now just go like boosh, did that? 
that. Oh, no, it did nothing to the water. Are there no water physics in this game? Don't think there's water physics. Right, hang on. We've got to, we're going to have to try and come up with a different way to make a tsunami then. Oh, look, some grass grew at the top of my mountain. So let's see how tall can we go. Okay, that is, that is the limit. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Something funky with the water. Are you going to tsunami? Are you going to knock that ship over, please? Please? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. But my plan, if I grab level terrain tool, right click up there, and look, I can I can make like a tall area up here. Okay, so that's that's sort of useful, maybe. If I just make it a little bit wider, the top, like where you like smooth your graphic, like can you see it like puts like a texture in? I think I need to like click on the top just to, uh, yeah, just to neaten that up a bit. Right, so that's good. What happens then if I then shift the terrain in the middle. So we've got a very, very deep hole now. If I try and go down the hole, aha, look, there's no water at the bottom. That is, that is grass. So that's good. I think I probably want to go to like that level. I just sort of want to make a bit of a, a bit of a bathtub. We go along to about there. That's the width of our city. Now I can't fill this with water very easily, but what I can do, if I come down here, I delete these, the wastewater treatment plants. Boosh, boosh. Then before everyone complain, oh no, they're already complaining. Except for Leighton. Good old Leighton. But the oh, I've just realized how big this hole is. I was going to say I can just surround this in sewage outlets and we can uh, fill this up with poo i'm not sure we'll be able to it's a little bit it's a little bit large but uh, i guess before we do too many let's connect these up with sewage pipes so they're all connected together we can then come over <laughs> come over this way connect down here aha and then oh my goodness it's made it's made land for like the pipe to rest on hang on maybe i shouldn't do that could affect my my punami that i'm trying to go for all right yeah let's just let's delete this i'm gonna go like the scenic route around the back oh man there's there's so much pipe to delete why why didn't i realize this first all right okay it's gone it's gone right so we go from over this way down to there and then connect back up to there. Okay, we're good. We're connected again. So, oh, look, there's snow on this. Oh, it's like it's in the clouds. Oh my goodness. But yeah, what I want to see is, yes, there's poo coming out, which hopefully means if I head down here, where are those Where are those poo outlets? I'm trying to look at, oh, is that one? Yeah, there's one. Okay, so down here, hopefully we'll start to see some poo filling up. Oh my God, the, side, the rain is sideways down here. So yeah, hopefully that will start filling up. At the moment, it, it's not. Or is it? Is that poo? Trouble is, if I zoom in, it depends on the camera angle. I don't I think the game likes being pushed to this limit but confirmation there is there is water filling up down here so my aim is just spend the next few hours adding sewage inlets all the way around here fill this up with water water and then i don't know build some sort of ramp and unleash it towards the city so first off probably a time lapse of me placing loads of sewage outlets All right, so the good news is I've got loads of these in. The bad news is most of them are either off or they're just spluttering out a tiny bit of turd. And we want a full stream going on. So I guess I just need like a bigger population. Now, another positive is down here, we are actually starting to fill up with water. This this could take a while though. I've been going 45 minutes and we've got barely a puddle. I need this thing filled up. So I guess all I can really do is pay attention to the demand of which there is lots of industrial demand. So I'll tell you what, let's just make like this entire strip industrial because the more we meet demand, the more people are going to move in, the more poo we're going to make. So population graph looking pretty good. We could perhaps go at a deeper angle. I mean, to be honest, the only demand seems to be low density and industrial. So what I might do to fuel all that stuff, if I just buy a load of tiles back there, level it all out. Oh, what's that? Something didn't get level. Oh, Stonehenge. Anyway, grid this all up, connect it all in with another bridge, and then start painting in some houses. So we'll do low density over to there. We'll do industrial just all down this edge. Yes, demand is dropping finally. <laughs> yeah, look, everyone is building over this side. It's beautiful. Like the commercial. Look how fast they're going in. They're really spread out, by the way. Commercials are like, I'm going to build over here. I don't want to have any neighbors. Very antisocial, those commercials. Whereas houses, safety in numbers, which I guess technically true. Anyway, good news is the puddles have got slightly bigger. <laughs> Assuming this is actually working, this could literally take 
days. And uh, this game at the moment, before it's uh, day one update, it uses 100% of my GPU, which is a 3090. So sorry, UK Power Grid. It's for the greater good, though. I can't believe there's not water physics. I swear, like, in Engetopia, there were. So is it just that the sea doesn't have water physics? Do rivers have them? All right, let's just have a little play over here while we wait. So if I do that, yeah, nothing, nothing happens with the water. If I do that, water is just there. Interesting. What if I buy some river tiles? What if I like, are you going to flood water? Are you going to flood? It's like, nah, I'm, I'm good here. I'm good here. Thanks. I don't want to go down there. All right, what if we put a very small channel in? All right, there we go. Come on, water. You got to go down there. You got to go. Why, why is it just stopping? What? <laughs> What's going on here? All right. Okay. Return of some water physics. Yeah, I'm definitely making some sort of, some sort of channel. It definitely doesn't flow like it used to. I'm gonna try and let some more out like that. Does that affect downstream? Like, I would have thought this would be like filling up. What if I block this river? What if I dam it? Then water has to go down that way. Uh, there is some, there is some funky, some funky physics going on. What if we try the slope tool? We say connect to that point and down there. So we go in a nice straight slope. What does the game think about that? Oh, it's going. Oh, here we go. Physics have just turned on. How did that happen? The physics just suddenly went, yeah, fine. We exist now. <laughs> oh, look, the water is flowing. Okay, this is what we wanted. So, it appears we can do that with rivers, just not with the sea. Interesting. All right, I'm now wondering how much water can I store with this? Because maybe maybe it's better to build like a city underground. Okay, what if I just shift this entire river down a hole? Is that going to fill up with water? Or is game just going to be like, what are you doing, Matt? Stop trying to break me. Okay, water physics sort of doing this. It's very stuttery. I guess there is quite a lot going on in the city. I did build it quite big. But yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the game for a while. I want to see if this fills up. I want to see how big our population gets because we... <laughs> We've built a huge area. And most importantly, I want to see if this fills up with poo. Because, yeah, at the moment, there's there's not a lot of poo coming out of it. Right, so I'm going to go take Paddy for a walk. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. Oh, my goodness. It is warm in this room. <laughs> this PC sure kicks out some heat when it wants to. Right, so looks like we haven't really filled up that river. So that doesn't bode well for the rest of the place. Uh, let's just go. Oh, wow. That's a lot of warning signs. Okay, what, what is that? actually wrong with over here. What does that mean? Burned down. Oh no, my entire city burned down. So it looks like my entire industrial area burnt to a crisp. Over this side, it's a little bit more successful. So that's positive. Uh, in the middle, where all the houses are, <laughs> they're all dying of air pollution, probably from all the fires. Do I not have like a fire service? I mean, I do. They're just really, really bad at their jobs, apparently. Like there's there's one there. Why didn't you? Wait, what? No. The firehouse burnt down. I thought the firehouse was invincible to flame. I thought that's how they worked. And those laughing at me like that, that was actually a thing in the first game. So that's probably why everything burnt down because my firehouse burnt down. Still, we do have 29,000 people living here. So that's like, that's quite a lot of poo. I mean, look, we've got like, we've got tall buildings at the front. Wait, why, why do they have electricity? What happened to the electricity? I thought we we're buying from the outside world. Wait, what's happened down <laughs> What has happened? Oh, no, he has a motorbike. Oh, he's fallen off the road. Are you literally just stuck there? Where's your face? All right, a police car has been dispatched, but it's stuck in it's stuck in traffic. So, yeah, there's a traffic jam here. Oh, caused by a caravan. Who would have thought it? Anyway, don't really understand why, why we don't have enough electricity. Can we only bring in a certain amount of electricity? I thought it was like infinite. We can only import 74 megawatts. Oh, I did not know that. All right, let's get a, let's get a nuclear power plant on the go. All right, shove that there. Lovely. All right, so we have a nuclear power plant. So hopefully over there. No, why aren't you receiving enough electricity? What's going on? Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? Electricity bottleneck. Oh, what? What? I didn't know that was a thing now. So do we need to bypass that? Oh, look, there's another one down here. Oh, man. Okay, there's too much electricity coming through one little place. Okay, now everyone has electricity. Yay! Which means our incineration plant is back up and running, which should fix all the rubbish problems down there. Oh, I can upgrade this as well. Yeah, let's, let's upgrade it. All right, sorted, I think. Next up, the actual tsunami. How far did we get? If we head inside here... Oh, this isn't looking good. Oh, it's pretty much dry. How did 28,000 people not poo that much. Yeah, look, it's just 
spurting out. It needs to be pouring out. Two thousand years later. All right. So sadly, despite my best efforts, I can't get enough poo in there, and I can't get tsunamis to hit on land. Look how big this city is, by the way. However, since doing another video, I have come up with a way that I can make a tsunami. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the game. We're going to grab the landscaping tool. We're going to wang the brush size as high as it'll go, and then we're going to shift terrain down because look if you do that on land this was an island you can see there's no water there if i did it in water you just get you just get more water so my plan is we just cut out all of this this is just to make the sea a little bit bigger like more volume of water all right then up here we make sure this is all land and probably just fill in this island all right so then when we press play we get a few a few little ripples so some of these buildings are now getting their feet wet but i think they're fine all right and then we're gonna dig down in here we're going to do a big trench across there. I'll tell you what, actually, I might buy a few more tiles behind. Let's buy those, fill them with land, and then we should just be able to cut out. Does it... Does it remember this sea there? And I might have to do this a bit more engineeringly. All right, there we go. That is working perfectly. <laughs> Sorry. All right, but yeah, that is completely trenched out now. What is going on? What is that? Why are you stopping the land? Boot? What's a calm? It's a building. It looks like a pile of poo. Delete. Okay, so that is the ground down to the bottom. Right, you can probably see where this is going. But basically, I build my city down here instead. And then I get rid of this wall. And then we should have tsunami, right? So I think what I need to do, I need to delete everything. I've got basically. Oh, that's going to take a while. Actually, can I relocate these big buildings? No, I can't relocate them. Okay, delete everything. Sorry, everyone. You should have paid more taxes. All right, but if I delete all of these roads, then all the buildings will disappear, but then the demand should go back up. So I should be able to move this fairly simply down to the bottom of my trench. So I think that's all the roads gone. So all those buildings, oh boy, they they should disappear now. Trouble is, it has affected the city back there. But that's fine. I think once we once we get moved down, we should be fine. So just got to try and get this down. Right, okay. So there's the new city. By the way, check out the engineering that's gone on here. Look at those retaining walls. They're insane. Yeah, just checking we've got water down there. Yep, we've got electricity. Yes, all good. So hopefully these houses should start disappearing. Let's just speed up time. Yeah, they're all vanishing into thin air. It's like they were never, never even a real thing. And my hope is, as they do that, we start getting demand. We've got high density demand, which is usually one of the hardest ones to come by. Let's shove a load of those in. I'm then just going to start building like all the other buildings that I had. Right, okay, everything is zoned. I think I've met all the demands and stuff, so we just got to wait for people to come. And now looking on this road, that is happening. People are flying to come have a look at the new village because i mean from down here it does actually look pretty nice the trouble is they have no idea what they're letting themselves in for because remember behind this wall is a whole lot of water right well a tornado has has joined me cheers for that i'm a <laughs> i'm not done building my city yet but i feel like i should probably at least test it so we hit pause we then get rid of this sea wall we're then left with a literal sea wall uh, and then we press play and we see yes i think we actually have a tsunami so intrigued to see what's going to happen to these buildings boosh Wait, what did happen nothing really nothing happened surely they're going to collapse i mean look at the size of this tsunami <laughs> There's like a big old whirlpool on it now. Man, that is a lot of water. Like, look at these buildings. Yeah, the final few dry buildings are there, but the water is just coming. So I've just turned up the speed. I'm wondering whether these buildings will actually collapse or not. I mean, I can <laughs> I can see cranes. People are building underwater. Oh, that building went down. Oh, they're all going down. Oh, they are all collapsing. Okay, that's cool. Sort of. All right, the big one's gone down now. I wonder if the big tower one over here will. Like, that is a lot lot of water coming in. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> So there we have it. It at least is possible. Oh, the big one's gone down. It is possible to make a tsunami in this game, which is good news. Oh, here you go. We're underwater. We are underwater and every building is destroyed. I think the game's graphics are destroyed. The cars are still driving around. Like ignoring the flashy graphics, like cars are still driving underwater. <laughs> What is going on? Yeah, if I come out of photo mode, I can't actually look underwater, but I can click on these. It does say destroyed by flooding, which I guess is accurate. Right, well, anyway, that is good to know, and I think we'll definitely be using this in the future. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and empty poo pits. Bye, guys!